What's up, y'all? So the question was asked about the schedule and um, who makes the schedule. And there was like a bit of a misunderstanding and a misconception. And I am here to dispel the PA misconceptions, okay? So it was posed and it was asked about who makes this schedule and the impression that this particular person was under was that the physician makes the schedule and so i wanted to address that in this video um and let's just get into it right now What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so um, I had a question posed on my last video and it was asked, um, well, kind of stated, uh, the person stated that they were told that the physician makes the PA schedule. And I was like, uh, like, and in the like immediate first part, I was like, no, that's not how it works. However, there are like a little bit of caveats to this, right? And so let's just kind of, clean up some of those like, you know, misunderstandings slash misconceptions, and then we'll go from there. So technically, the physician can make the PA schedule in that if you work in an office where it's just you and the physician, um, maybe the physician's like, hey, I need a PA uh, th for 312s, or I need a PA every day of the week working, you know, five times a week, eight hours a day, whatever the case may be, they can set their own schedule, obviously. Now, if you're coming in and you are the only PA, you can also set set your schedule and say, you know what? Hey, this is what I want to have a conversation with you about. I uh, would like to work three days a week or I would like to work four days a week. Um, what are your busiest days? I can come in on those days if that works well for you. And you can have a conversation and you can work this out with your physician partner, right? Your physician attendant in this. However, um, when it comes to like your bigger areas, like in the hospital or, you know, hospital systems, no, the physician does not make the PA schedule. Actually, we have a head PA in all of the different specialties. So my specialty of acute care surgery and trauma, um, we have a head PA for that, a head PA for neurosurgery, OBGYN, orthopedic, um, ICU, and critical care. They're the ones that make the schedule. And, it, you know, there's a lot that goes into making the schedule because you're managing lots of people's lives, essentially. And so there's a, like a little sheet that we use of a calendar. And if there are days that we want to be off or we want to use PTO or we're doing CME, um, or we're just going on vacation, we write that down in the calendar and our head PA looks at that calendar along with everybody else's requests and makes the schedule. So she or he or whoever it is is the one that's making the schedule. Now granted, somebody else is making the schedule, but at the end of the day, I get to choose how I wanna work because once that schedule is published, there is a ton of switches. Like everybody's like, hey, can you switch this day for that day? Or if something came up, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't work this shift anymore. Is anybody willing to take half of the shift or all of the shift? Uh, I'll owe you another shift or let's switch. There are very different, like varying different options for this, but we essentially still make our own schedule because we put in the time off that we want. Um, we can put in like requests on days that we may want like to not be scheduled. And then from that, uh, our our leads will take um, heed, you know, obviously with a grain of salt in comparison to everybody else's request uh, and make the schedule. So no, the physician does not make this schedule. It only depends on the type of setting that you're in. I mean, for instance, you know, we're working 24s. That is what is set out by the the hospital system. Uh, there are people in the ICU that work 312s, right? And again, that is a, like just the mandate that is set out by the hospital system. Now, how you work those 312s, if it's like three straight nights, if it's two nights in a day, or if it's two days in a night, or if it's all days, that's really up to the person making the schedule, which is usually your lead. For me, um, I work 24 hour shifts, so there are days when I can work like a back to back to two days off and then a back, uh, and then I'll have a slew of days off, or there are days when I can work one day and I have like nine days off, and then I work two days back to back, meaning I'll work a 24 hour shift, I come home in the morning, I will probably be knocked out and sleeping the majority of the day, 
only to go to bed early to do that again the next day, the following day, to complete my three days in a 14 day work period. But the schedule is set out and it's made by our contemporaries, our peer, um, uh, who is also like a PA typically. Um, and then, you know, they're, they're looking at everybody's schedule. So I just wanted to clear up that misconception. Yes, there may be some situations where a physician will make the schedule or will ask you what days you want to work or kind of gives you um, the schedule that they would like because it's their office. But this is not like this far is f far from the norm. Okay. This is not like a thing where all the physicians make the schedules for the PA. No. Okay. Especially if you're working in a hospital system. So uh, just keep that in mind and keep in mind also that there are a ton of different schedule options for you as a healthcare worker and as a PA, depending on what specialty you go in to and also depending on what work area you work in. So if you're working in an urgent care versus an office, you know, that office may need to have day hours where the urgent care will have nighttime hours as well. And if you're nocturnal and kind of like a night owl, um, then working in the urgent care or working in a hospital might be best for you. And even in that, you're able to work 312s or able to work 410s or, you know, seven on, seven off, 324s in 14 days. Um, you're able to work even like five eights, whatever the case may be. Um, it's all dependent on the need for that particular facility. All right. So hopefully this answered your question and, you know, any confusion that you may have. No, again, this is not like across the board. Um, you have your choice to make your own schedule and do what you want and you can find a schedule that works for you. That is the beauty of healthcare and that's the beauty of this profession in this career um, as with any other healthcare profession that you may work in. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions for me, leave it in the comment section below. I said that I was going to do um, a this or that with respect to respiratory therapy. So that will be my next video coming out. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in things other than being a PA, because there are other options in the healthcare field, be sure to check that video out. Okay. If you haven't already done so, like this video, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA and on Instagram at Get That's University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 